It's, it's cost neutral because the, the grant application that comes in pays for the services of our forester. And therefore, once we own the land, which is the big cost, uh, the, rest, the rest is cost neutral. Hello, my name is Frank Burke and I'm the Climate Action Coordinator for Wexford County Council and my role is very much uh, heading up the Climate Action Team. We're a team of four advocating climate action across the county. So we have to look after our own house and reducing our own emissions and reducing our own energy consumption. We want to look at exemplar projects and, and case studies that we can show other people that would help them to contribute to climate action. My name is Claire Goodwin. I'm the new biodiversity officer appointed just very recently to Wexford County Council. So my job will be to bring positive biodiversity actions into Wexford County, help communities develop po positive biodiversity actions. But the main task in the first instance will be to develop a biodiversity action plan to guide future, future biodiversity projects and to be able to resource um, funding for those. We're here today in a site in Cushionstown. It's a just under a two hectare site and it's recently been planted as part of the Woodland Creation Scheme funded by the Forest Service. And the aim here was to establish a small woodland. It was a site that the council had no need for um, as a development site. So a good alternative is to plant it and something that we're providing here is going to be here for the future. So it's been planted with a native woodland mix, oak, birch, alder, gelder rose, Viburnum opulus, um, so a nice mix. I would say this woodland has been really important um, for woodland cover for wildlife, but also as part of a wildlife corridor. You can see we're on the side of a very busy road here, but animals need wildlife corridors to move through the environment. And they're constantly challenged by the way we've severed the landscape. So this could be a really important cover site for wildlife, plus also the connectivity to the hedgerows. And actually we're lucky here in this part of Wexford, there are some really established woodlands and hedgerows. So it's part of that wildlife corridor, I would say. So it's very important. Well, badgers will come, foxes will come, the rabbits will be here early, hopefully not, not too many. Um, all the bird life that we, we're, we see commonly in, in Ireland. Um, yes, dragonflies, butterflies, bees. Hopefully we'll see bumblebees. There's plenty of ground flora, plenty of flowering plants. So that'll attract them. So that'll help our pollinators as well and also some of the woodland edge trees that have been planted, the Viburnum opulus and the Gelder Rose, they're flowering trees. So they're really important as well for pollinators. It's part of a native woodland scheme for public land. The Department of Agriculture are trying to promote the use of public lands for biodiversity, for forestry. It has been a very simple process because we enlisted a forester uh, uh, we, we sign off on the application form with, with the department. He manages the planting of it, a four-year maintenance plan where he looks after the trees, he looks after the weeding, the fencing, and any issues that maybe had any pruning that is required. And it, it's very much a pain-free uh, process from the council's point of view. The idea of this is that we could promote something that's really simple to do for other businesses, other community groups, other public uh, bodies where they might say, well, this is what Wexford County Council did. They're promoting biodiversity. They're, it's, a, it's carbon sequestration as well, which is, is key across the county. And we saw from the EPA yesterday that our 2023 figures have shown that we have um, dropped by 7% across the country, which is hugely positive. And it's something that's easily replicated across any organization that has some public land that would be suitable for this. Yeah, I think if you have the land available, the funding is there. And more and more so, the funding is targeted towards more native woodland schemes. So that's, that's really positive, both for climate, but also for biodiversity and wildlife. It's, it's cost neutral because the, the grant application that comes in pays for the services of our forester. And therefore, once we own the land, which is the big cost, uh, the, rest, the rest is cost neutral. 
It's easier than people think to undertake actions like these and they're really positive. Um, that uh, there's guidance there, there's help there, there's funding there. Um, and it can be really positive and they can be a small, they can be small little pocket forests like this ones or they can be on a bigger scale, but each one has a value and uh, the help is there. So come and ask us if, if uncertain, but um, we'd be happy to, to liaise with other, other authorities. Uh, in my opinion, the replication of a project like this for other public bodies would enhance the reputation from a biodiversity and from a green action point of view.